back and we're as coded as ever. Alright, so uh, let's get back into this. Um, just sort of want to get this connection between the front end and back end happening today. So let's get started. Uh, what I noticed is we get this raise exception, uh, binary to list nil. So we're just going to kind of track this down and see what's going on here. We might not have a process being started, but we'll find out. Okay, so it's the socket accept, socket acceptor. So vi lib game server socket acceptor. Oh, we already have it open. Here we are. Okay, so we're looking at it says line forty two to line twelve, line forty two. So here when we receive it's getting a binary to list nil. So let's uh, let's look at the stream reader. Vi lib game server till stream reader, and we're just doing a receive. Where are we at here? Receive one. So here. So it looks like we get one byte, and it's saying that. So let's do an IO inspect. Just do that. So this integration might be a little uh, time consuming, but we'll see what we can handle out of this. We might just create like a little bit of a, a button to sort of try to reconnect every time and uh, see how that works out. <laughs> Instead of having to rebuild the um, the front end every time just to see if the connection happens. So here, um, yeah, we do definitely get nil. And we'll find out why what's going on there. So let's go back to this. And let's add a baton. Let's see here. We're just going to grab this. And what's the function we call? Now let's get notify on down. So we're just going to put that there. So every time we click, it'll try and connect. And let's do one more thing. Let's do socket closed. Let's see what's going on here. Socket closed. And let's run her up here. Might as well check some of our events while we're doing a lot of builds and doing a little bit more integration. I don't say I really want to say testing, but more just understanding of how the, uh, the two are communicating to each other. Uh, just getting a little more insight into it. So let's, um, let's go here. Now if we click the screen, it should try to connect. And it does. So this is that one. We're trying to do a receive. And let's find out what's going on here. Let's take a look at integration test that we have set up, test uh, in server integration, making sure that we're setting it the same way. So here, run test, <coughs> test identifier, so like boolean, we're saying receive one, back to receive one. Um, it seems so what we're trying to go after here. Client, let's just close that for now. That seems reasonable. I guess we can do, just match this exactly. Socket, save one. So, Take a look back at our game. Let's look at our details here. We get socket connected. We're not getting socket closed, which is kind of not the best. But let's get our TCP socket connector. TPP TCP socket connector, and we're going to do. Closed update. It's waiting for read. So we're writing a 
by it. I think the problem is, is that it's just going and trying to read nil. I want to double check to make sure that we're actually sending something. So it's like a stream handler. Socket connected. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because I think it's trying to read from the socket without anything triggering it. I don't like that. Just we're looking through here. So we got string length. That'll give us our string. Let's see if I run it to term. Test identifier. So that just does that. So it's really it comes down to this here. Everything looks good so far. Handler, let's go to our playground. Stream handler start. It's gonna connect, it's gonna get our settings, and then it gets our connected. And no data is sent, so I don't like the idea that it's executing. Like it's receiving data. It should block. Mm -hmm. Why isn't it blocking? Stream receive. Clean server until stream reader. Uh, where is that at? Stream reader. There we go. Hmm. So the receive is definitely nil. <coughs> Let's go to our mess socket. <coughs> Excuse me. So send, where's our receive? Receive. That looks okay. Doesn't seem like, let's take a look here. Stream. I feel like it's not blocking. And there's no way to Get the bytes available. Hmm. Let's look back here. Run test, test identifier. Binary to term, test identifier, client stream receive. Hmm. What am I missing here? We yeah, have the game server, um, socket server. So come in, we're listening. We accept it, we send it to socket connected. And then that goes to socket connected, that creates the PID, passes the socket. Let's uh, inspect the socket. OK. 
Okay. And we just click. Maybe we, maybe that won't work. What's going on here? Playground on down. So I think the problem is that that wasn't closed. Let's see here, connecting. Yep, it is connected. So what we'll do is whenever we click, play down. We're gonna do stream handler and and that'll allow us to reconnect. Let's do build. <coughs> Unused alias stream here. So let's this. We're gonna click, and we do have a port, so that is promising. For some reason, we're getting it's not blocking on this until it gets data. And that is I'm not a fan of that. Let's actually read. Let's actually read two bytes. Let's see if we get a different result. Interesting. Here, end of file. So here, socket stream here, connecting false, connector close. Close. I've connected. Clear buffer. It's like a teen. Hmm. <laughs> That's probably this. So when it tries to reconnect, I'm getting error into file. Betting. I don't like that. I don't like either one of these here. What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Did we get socket? We did do suck connected. All right. <clears throat> Let's go trace closed. Just to make sure that's happening. Doing a bit of debugging today. I'm trying to get this to connect up. For some reason, I don't really like the idea that it's not blocking on the socket waiting for that data. Socket connected. It's closed. Um, let's see here. Nope. Yeah, it won't try to connect again. Well, we got a couple of issues that are making this really, really hard. But the good news is that this didn't change anything. It's not blocking. So let's just 
straight ahead try and do something different here. So we have our port I'm just going to do stream receive socket and I'm going to do four. Add that to IO inspect. So the, the issue that I'm running into that I'm concerned of is that it's not blocking. And it should be blocking. We're not sending any data to it, and that's the that's the part that's got me irritated, I suppose. So, okay, this just is just giving nil, but we haven't sent any data, so I shouldn't be reading it. And maybe that's not true. Let's look at the socket. Let's do Erlang socket. Erlang blocking socket. And what we want. Examples here. Start with TCP listen, start server. INET set ops active once, receive. Timeout and passive mode. So goes negative five if return value error closed. Possibly discarding less than length bytes of data when the sign is on the other side. So it looks like it should be. It's returned. Hmm. I don't see why it's not blocking it. So what we're going to do is we're going to check for just kind of hack this in a little bit to see what's going on here. Um, I want to be able to block this. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say um, do stream receive one. Go against the socket. Let's say data is that. If um, data is that equal to nil, do this stuff. And then curse it. See if that makes any difference. So on this end, it 
it is not closing the socket. Double check that's what's coming what's coming from. Come on. Okay, so here <coughs> I decided to do the same thing again. Call store units. No such process. Hmm, so strange. That is not what I expected to happen. Should have behaved like a uh, like a loop theory. And this guy here, what's this going on here? Error end of file. Let's try to. Yeah, let's go here. Close. Is there something that's not allowing us to... If we close it... Let's go back up here. I think if we close it, we're going to need to recreate it. And that's the problem. That's kind of a bummer. Let's go back to TCP socket. If we close, we'll just do init. init. Let's see if that's the problem. Init. Try that one. <clears throat> build, 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 double build, triple build. Okay. So that just called nil. Finally, it just went on. Hmm. So that's that's a thing. Why won't it block? If we do a receive do. Receive do in a while. No. I thought. Okay, let's do it here. Elixir. Receive do. Let's 
So, that's not going to do what we need. Huh. I thought this would be slightly easier to do the receive than I thought. So we had this set up here, and for some reason this feels like this is waiting for an accept. And so, I think what we need to do is take this out, this, and we need that out of there. Just kind of rough this in to see if this is the problem. This is not going to be our end here. So let's do, so now Uh, let's go to the live game server socket server. We have it open. So here we accept, and that returns a infinite loop. Okay. Yes. Let's go here. Ah, that worked. How about that? Okay. So that returned. Where are we at here? That's our integration test. That's our socket server. Here's our stream reader. Socket acceptor. So here, if the data is I inspect data. So the data is nil. Hmm. Saying it's nil. True, it is nil. But yet it's falling apart in the gen server call. Wonder player, we're going to create the player. So I'm just going to take this out. I wonder if that's the problem with the gen server. Okay, no, so it's not that. It's sort of a call store. So here, this is our problem. Store PID. Okay, so let's see here. So our player store, player store PID. So what we need to do, I think this is the, this was the problem in the first place. So we're gonna go lib game server ex. We needed to do uh, okay pid equals uh, player store game server dot state dot player player Store dot start link. Okay. Oh, I need to register that PID. Okay. I'm going to do process dot register 
one head. Oops. Okay, let's do that. Do I have it backward? Head one. Okay, so that's better. Okay, so we are definitely connected. It's holding on to that. So now we understand this better. So we've got some some new stuff happening. Let's close everything. And let's go back to our playground. And do we have no we don't. Okay, so we're gonna do Uh, on right click. So here, I'm gonna, on our left click, we're going to try and connect. On our right click, we're going to do stream handler. And how are we going to send this information? We need a way to send. I don't think we set that up yet. So if I have commands, So let's look at our socket stream handler with ends. Do, 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 do it. So we don't have a way to send. We could, we don't have, hmm. Let's look at, look at here. So we've got our Cloud Connect. We need a stream. And our socket connector is not a stream, right? So what we can do, just to sort of rough this in, we'll just say um, new our player connect equals new player connect. And we're going to Actually, I want to do something better with this. Uh, I'm going to store this here. So we're going to we're going to undo a lot of this, but I want to make sure I'm understanding how this is this flow is going. So I'm going to have it bar stream input output stream. So when we're connected, this stream equals stream. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up part of this API stream handler. We're going to say function send. And we're going to give it a uh, handler. Okay. And I think I'm going to like this. So send IO handler. So now we're going to do handler uh, right to our stream, and that'll get that in place. And now, if we do this, mm, okay, get there. Uh, stream handler send. So we're gonna send our uh, player connected or player connect equals new player connect player connect is there any other information we need? Nope. I'm gonna send player connect. Make sure this is I handler. There we go. Let's do this. Make sure everything is nice and cleaned up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna left click to connect. We should get our connection. And then we're gonna right click to connect and see what how that looks. So here, we're left clicking to actually make the socket connection. And we're gonna right click to actually send the connect. So that was false. And 
let's get some more data out of this. So that was successful. So we're going to have to clean up this client connected a little bit. But that's okay. Hmm. That's okay. Okay, so we're learning more about how this is working, which is great. So I'm going to do vi lib in server state. State? No. Um, we have the second acceptor. This is battle. We want to look at the battle here. Declare connect. I'm going to say io inspect. Player, actually, let's just talk to the logger. Debug, player, connect. So here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to left click. Looks like it's not connecting, so let's just start over. Oop. Madness. Waiting for our code to build. So there's our socket connected. Oh, we didn't actually trace that. So here we're not actually getting the connection that we want. So what's going on here? I live game server socket center. Okay, so what we need to do is if this is this is the problem here. Um, okay. Because we have our command ID. Actually, let's go back to data. And what we need to do is we need to IO inspect data. <coughs> and we're just going to spy in on. I lib uh, game server detail stream reader um, Erlang binary to list head. Oops. head. And we're going to inspect that file. Or uh, we have our logger? Yes. I'm going to. I was to inspect uh, command ID. I want to make sure that we're not losing out on this. Um, inspect. Uh, inspect. And we're going to figure out why our logger isn't giving us what we need here in just a minute. Build that. Nil and invalid socket handle. Okay. Now we're getting close. So that's our connection. We right click. Here we go. I link binary to list. Okay, so that 
I need to kill that, I'm sure. Alright, so the Oxhocta Exhibitor line 45 here. We didn't do our data. Okay. Stream reader. Connection. There's our send. Command is nil for command four. Let's see here. Command data is nil. Take a look here. Where's our socket acceptor? Socket server. Let's shut that down. Listen, socket. Listen, socket. Fire connect read. I live in server um, handler. Input. Fire connect. Read. Interesting. Okay, so I think that is this is input output. We are connected. Interesting. We never actually implemented that. Right, connect stream. We're going to do stream receive. Well, there isn't any data really, is there? So we're going to do def struct. I'm going to call this a player. I'm sorry, we can just do ID nil. And this will just return. Uh, how do we want to return this? We'll return a name server. That does. Let's see if this doesn't crash. Okay. Nail and it breaks. Bell suck and handle. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So let's find out why. Let's go to our player connect. Right stream. So here we're going to go that. Right click. Ah, crashed again. Undefined function stream send. I'll put player connected. So here, right, player socket connected player. And what was the error? It says player connected. The eyelid game server uh, handling output player connected. So stream. Yeah, it is right. So we're gonna do I uh let's see here. What is the 
socket stream, alias socket TCP stream, publish make sure. Okay, so VI test name server uh, integration, and it is socket stream. Socket stream. Where is it at? Socket stream. Okay. And I'm going to do this. Connected, and I'm going to right click. Socket stream handler 96. Hmm. Seems reasonable. Let's look at the uh, TCP socket connector. Connector. So if we socket close or socket connect, and this goes through the TCP socket. Seems like it should work. Oh, uh, you know what it probably is? It's probably making a reference to the input and the output. Let's see here. Yes. So when we close, we need to is it here? connect. We should probably do this. Position zero. Probably should do this as well. Yep, that seems more reasonable. Okay, so let's do this. Let's just restart this for good measure. And this will be our last run for the day. Didn't get quite too much done, but we did learn a lot. And so we can adjust our tests and get this. This is pretty, pretty much the most complicated part of this whole, this whole bit, obviously. So here. And bad value. So we did send player connect. Bad value on output port TCP. So we go here. Where are we printing player connect? Here, player connected. We're going to be writing to the socket and saying that. Let's go here to our player connected. Uh, we're going to put this like this. This is really weird. Okay, so I'm going to do IO inspect. Right, and we're also going to IO inspect inspect player connected player ID num to n four. Okay, we just want to get some insight into this. We do have a port. And it looks like <coughs> the connected player ID, player connected player ID is empty string. Let's take a look here. Where is, here we go. I'm going to do io inspect player dot d. I believe this is n nothing right now. Let's see here. 
I'm going to create the player. We do have ID of 1. So we should have add value and output port TCP INET. So we're going to do, okay, we got this. We're also going to IO inspect. We're just going to inspect the player together. This is more reasonable. So let's kill that. Five, eight, four, three. Prior ID is one. So why is the connect player connected player ID connected player back to the socket? We have our stream, which is this PID, which matches that. That looks good. And then our player ID, let's just do this for now. It's a lot easier to do as a one. Okay. One. Stream send, and it's at this point. Add value. What is okay? Stream reader. Let's look at the stream reader. S game server. Oops. Lib game server util stream reader, and this is num to bin that we're doing? num to bin num to bin for so we probably want no, we want num So I wonder if this is if we do string to integer. String to integer. I wouldn't imagine if that's it. So let's do IEX dash S mix. Let's do one string to integer. Okay, if we do one. Okay, so that does make sense. Let's see here. Ooh, this is weird. Okay, um, if we look here, it looks like it's not a string. So we don't want to do this. num to binary stream reader num to binary I I X X X mix num to binary four hmm Is interesting. None. Turn to binary. Binary to list. One. Erlang. Turn to binary. Erlang. Turn 
to list. Hmm. Oh, binary code list. So that makes sense. Drop bytes. Ooh. I see. I see. So what we need to do is let's just open a new one. Vi live game server util bin to value. That's not what we want. Oh, that's what we want. Get value. Value converter. So if we do short to bin. Let's go back here. All right, we're going to do, where's my GitHub at? Running out of time, like fully out of time. So far out of time that, I don't know, lost, lost words. Um, value converter, <coughs> convert int. I wonder had list. I wonder if we just do this. This is the value converter. Had list. I'm gonna pad that with bytes. Let's see if that makes a difference. And we're going to do this one. No. Hmm. That seems reasonable. Um, so we're going to do this one. Binary to list value converter and list four. Uh, enum drop two. There we go. Um, drop two. Let's see if that makes a difference. Um, we want to do. Want to do this? Nope, that's not it. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna have to just come back to this tomorrow. This is this is a thing. I'm gonna have to figure out why this is. If we do this, we get that, and if we do random drop bytes. Enum reverse. That's correct. C 
So, all right, we're gonna have to go with the. Leave it as it is. Because now we're getting into changing things and I don't know what they're doing. So, okay. Sorry we didn't get in too far into it. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow when we get this closed off. All right. Happy